On Wolfpack Nation, hope everybody's doing well this evening. Thank you so so much here for tuning in here with us. We got an exciting episode here. So we got I don't know if you know here, but we got a pretty pretty good NC State sailing team for those who do not know about it. And if you don't know about it, I suggest to hop on the bandwagon here real quick because I don't know if you know, it's not but they're going for for back to back national championship appearances here so again we got we got some big momentum here coming on with this team here so uh we got D uh, coach dan magliola here in the middle and then we got uh isa and olivia here uh olivia is the women's team captain and isa is the co-ed captain and then they also have a, a men's side as well uh but again can't, we only have so much screen room here so so three is enough so thank you thank you all for joining us today really really appreciate it Great to be here. Thanks for having us again. And, uh, you know, great to be back on Tuffy Talk yeah. and great to be getting ready again, spending our spring training mm -hmm. and, and putting logistics together to go back to nationals. Amen to that. Amen. And and we were kind of laughing a little bit beforehand, but I, I got to bring it up because I'm, I'm sure that if uh, for people who, since you say being on Tuffy Talk again, people are going to be like, they were on Tuffy Talk before, and uh, obviously it, it we, we, we... We're like in the OG era of Tuffy Talk. Oh. Yeah, that was that was that was OG, and that was that was back when we were using Zoom. So, if for those who, are, who do listen back, the audio wasn't great, but but now it's popping, and it, hopefully, quality is a lot better than it was then. So, uh, but anyway, though, so so jumping back into it, it's it's crazy to think about again. I mean, obviously, hopefully, we've come a long way, you know, as in terms of a video podcast, but y'all have come especially a long way because I mean, again, just like you were saying beforehand as well offline about how last year going to the first national championship as a team uh now going back again but also to going with the women's team this time for the first time in the women's team history i mean it just speaks wonders and just because i want to confirm this as well so the first season for the women's team was 2012 2013 was that correct yeah so that fall season of 2013 leading okay. into that spring year so it's crazy uh one regatta that we put together our women's squad and um, finished uh, the back of the fleet in the one regatta that we, we took part in. And, and, you know, that's how it started. And then and, and this is this is where it is today. I love it. No, so, I mean, again, it's just it's just amazing to, again, see that, like you were saying, like it basically doesn't just it proves that last year wasn't a fluke. That it's like we're heading like we got something going here. Like it's it, there's we're heading in the right direction and, and, and something's working here. So, uh, you know. I guess just so first of all, I guess I'll just ask a simple question. Like, how does it feel like having that feeling? Like, because I mean, to me, I'm, I, I almost get excited. Like, that's crazy though. Like how, again, I mean, it, it's, it all this just started really. And I mean, obviously I know coach Danny, you were, you came on what, like 10 years ago or something like that, or a little bit more than that. Am I correct? Yeah, this is my ninth, right. Ninth year. Ninth year. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, I mean, first of all, I mean, gotta give, I'm, I'm, I'm sure, uh, you know, you coach Dan will probably won't be the like, you know, it's not all me, but I mean, hats off to you for sure. I mean, for, for putting this together. I mean, you know, obviously before, before Olivia and he, you know, he's, uh, I mean, obviously it had to start from somewhere. So hats off to you on that. <laughs> I th Thank you. And it's been fun. I think the, my, the, the team knows this, you know, um, continuity from coaching helps so much because you have the structure of a program like ours relies heavily on student leadership and if the student leadership turns over without somebody to capture the knowledge, to bring in some of what we've done and, uh, you know, it, it doesn't grow and build that momentum the way that this has. So, I, you know, I, I love what we're doing as a team. It's definitely not me, although I will tell the kids when they win a race, uh, I'll say to my fellow coaches, clearly it's it's all coaching. But we <laughs> all know that that's not the case. It's really about putting the the program in place and making sure that they have the opportunity to to succeed yep. dana is 100 percent the glue of the team oh. though he is so involved and is there for every student on our team it it makes such the difference i love it hey, amen well and so so livia i want to ask you being the women's caps so i'll let you cheer for the women's or I'll, I'll let you speak for the women's team and the fact that, i mean so what was your initial reaction when you got the news that uh, the women's team is going to his first national championship in, in the team's history. Yeah. I mean, I was super excited. Um, they kind of, they didn't tell us when they were announcing each team. So we're, they're what they're starting like with the number one team and they're like, Yale, 
Boston College. Like, okay, well, this could be us. <laughs> this could be us next. Um, so just kind of sitting there with the anticipation. And then finally, like, when they called us and you see your name up next to all the other colleges that, like, you know, like, next to Yale. And you're like, this is insane. Like, we are on their level. Yep. And now we get to compete against them. It was it was surreal, honestly. I never expected to be going to a national championship. So yeah, amen. I don't know though because as we watched the show, all of us and we all talked about this. We all knew in our heart that we had put out an outstanding season. Yeah. You know that the women had gotten into high level events and competed, and we knew that the the resume was there. And none of us like were we were all too superstitious to start to like <laughs> be excited yet. And when they actually said it out loud, it was like a, almost just a relief of... It know. was validation for everything, all the time and work that we put in. Mm-hmm. It was like, hey, we've done this and people are seeing it yep. and people are recognizing it. And that was awesome. Yep. Amen. I'll, I'll brag on the, the women's team a little too. You know, a lot has changed in college sailing over the last few years uh, as a sport that has both club and varsity programs competing on the same playing field with really the same opportunity um uh, the stratification of programs has happened over the past few years and there's different levels in college sailing one of them is the high level is called a cross regional team Mm -hmm. and this is our first year as a cross regional team and in fact the spring season was nc state's first season as a cross regional team amongst that sort of elite level in college sailing uh and we had a big uh chip on our shoulder to prove that we belong Mm -hmm. Uh, not just in the co-ed game, you know, where we had proven that we belonged last year, but that the women are competing at that level too. Uh, And quite honestly, you know, our women have a higher ceiling of performance uh, with the talent that we have on our team uh, compared to sort of the depth (laughs) of college sailing. So all that factors into this weird and awesome year. Yeah. No kidding. So, so kind of talk a little bit about it, you know, kind of, talking about this season so so what were some of the big milestones like were there like some big upsets or big victories that really stand out you know kind of looking back at the season yeah so kind of going along with what dana was saying we just there's about there's three different rankings in college sailing Mm -hmm. so there's fundamental regional and cross regional and it tends to be that cross regional is varsity programs that's just how they base it they're like oh your varsity will give you the rating Um, So we really did have to prove with scores that we deserve to be up there with Yale, Brown, all of those teams. Mm -hmm. And that even with our limited resources that we can compete at the level that they're competing at. So that rating um, boosted us immensely because once you get that rating, you have access to so many more events Mm -hmm. that are higher quality, like you're sailing against better teams, more teams. It's yeah. And so once you compete at that event, you there's this whole ranking system with points. And so those higher events are worth more points. And so that just that overall ranking was um, a big accomplishment. And then also, I mean, we can touch on all of us can touch on this, but this was the first time ever that our co-ed team has won our championship event. So our qualifier, the championship yeah. event, it's top two automatically qualify for nationals. So we were lucky to be automatically qualified rather than wait for a committee to choose us for nationals, nice. which is amazing, a sigh of relief, all of that. Um, but with that, the team that like before us has won that championship for since 10 years, 10 years. Wow. Um, yeah. And so we broke their big streak and that just felt amazing yeah. Yeah. to do. That was College of Charleston. Yeah. So in, in college sailing, the College of Charleston is like a, the Alabama of college sailing, oh, you know, yeah. dozens of national ta- championships, all Americans, like a full wall of all Americans. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, you know, they yeah. dominated the SESA conference, our conference, which is kind of like geographically the SEC and, and ACC, mm-hmm. uh, all of the teams that are in North Carolina, down to Florida, over to Alabama. That's our m- big conference. Yeah. Um, 10 years of watching them at the top of the conference and being able to, to beat them in, in that conference title match was awesome. Yep. 10 years of fall and spring. So yeah, yeah. Fall, two, two seasons a, a year. So wow. good. Break. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. Unbelievable. It, it, go ahead. It's fun too. Cause I oh, was sorry. It, it, you know, one of the things to think about too, with 
the, the, the season was leading up to that too. It wasn't just that we lucked out in a, a specific regatta. It's the consistency that this team has had top threes, top twos, you know, top placements consistently in regattas, you know, winning several regattas this year. And you asked, do we have big wins? You know, we went up to New England, which is very much the deepest, you know, part of, of college sailing, most competitive. Yep. And, you know, we go right into a place like Boston College, one of our you know, rival teams, and we beat them at home. And wow. it, that's an outstanding. Win. And for an ACC fan, that's fun to watch. I don't care what sport it is. It could be beanbags, you know, and we beat Boston College. That's something to celebrate. So sure. victories like that, um, winning in conference. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, we went to the game. Yeah, we went to the game. Yeah. It was kind of fun to win the regatta. And then, you know, you put on your gear, go into the football game, you're in the stands, you're like, all right, we did it. Now it's your turn. And then to watch them. It was yeah. fun. Yeah. Uh, I would have loved you guys to be like, hey, Leary, we did our part, man. You got to step up now. Yeah, uh, it was a good turn. Yeah. Yeah. Before we continue, we want to take a quick second to tell you about our sponsor, Flatlands Dress-Up Insurance Group, that has our whole world covered, with agents in five offices throughout eastern North Carolina to help you decide how much coverage you need, offering policies for home and auto, recreational vehicles, commercial, crop, health, life, and employee benefits. They are able to combine options to find a comprehensive solution that works for you. Flatlands Dress-Up protects the things you love so you can spend less time wearing and more time enjoying them. Find them on Facebook and Instagram at Flatlands Dress-Up. You can also visit their webpage at www.flatlandsjessup.com. So please make sure to go and check them out. Oh, I love that. Love awesome. Uh, yeah, I mean, so so kind of taking you know a look back, I mean, obviously it's – first thing that comes to my mind is, just like you said, consistency. And, like, I think that this is something that you – like like right now you're seeing a lot with our football team, hopefully, uh, but that you see with teams that are consistently at the top, like maybe the Carl's college of Charleston, as you see this, but it really is a mentality. It's a mindset of like the, almost this swagger of like, like we know how to win. Like, you know, we're going to get this done one way or another. Like, you know, even if we have one bad run per se, like we're going to bounce back from it. We're going to find a way to win out. So, I mean, do you kind of see that or do you kind of have that sense within the team that there's like that maybe kind of building off of last year? Like, okay, like this year, we're starting to feel a little bit and then maybe it can even like just again continue because again we we want to go to national championships every year we want to be that team right i mean i'm sure that's where we want to be and then hopefully even start winning some as well so you know do you kind of see that mindset shift heading from last year or this year yeah i I'll, I'll answer yeah i think we 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 believe it you know and i feel like there were we believed it all in our heart before and just proving it and uh you know the fall season when we came back after making nationals last year, we came back to the fall and we started off really well mm -hmm. and we started winning mm -hmm. events. And, you know, culturally we, we started to internalize that, uh, that we, that we belong there. And, you know, I think the results are a part of that as well. Yeah. And y'all can probably speak just as athletes. I think that became just knowing that we did it already, then it became not a goal, but a standard. Yeah. And so your whole team, it was, there are, you know, certain people that, end up sailing the event. So not everyone on the team gets to do the event, but it became this past season that our whole team was just their attitudes had changed and everyone wanted to be involved. Everyone was showing up to every practice, like just putting their all into every practice. It was, yeah. I mean, it was amazing to see because they, they want to get there. They want to, they want to be at nationals. And once you get that competitive drive on the team, yeah, it's not a goal anymore. It's, it's fighting for that position to sail at nationals. Yeah. Yeah. No, Yeah, I think in general, at least since Easton and I've joined the team, we're both sophomores. Oh, cool. um, there's been a, a shift in mentality. Um, when we first joined, I was our first year on the team that we made it to nationals. Coincidence. Yeah. 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 Anyway, 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 anyway. Um, it's, Starting on a team who had, had never been to nationals, and then we're here for this such a developmental time in the team. Mm -hmm. um, it's been going from like, okay, yeah, we kind of want to go to this regatta, hope we do well, to like, okay, we're going to go to champs, and we're going to qualify for nationals because yeah, we've done it before. And so, yeah. You, yeah. you know, there's a great story that, um, you know, we host a big event in Oriental, North Carolina, down on the coast every spring, and it's one of college sailing's best regattas, you know, not to self, you know, <laughs> mark. That's okay. 
it's it's definitely a popular event. You know, we have 20 teams come in. We had like Texas and all these schools come in from all over the country this year. Uh, a couple of years ago, when we were putting on that event, you know, as an event organizer, I was so concerned with like, make sure all of the details are done. We got everything situated. And thinking about competing in the event was maybe a secondary thought. And a uh, past captain, you know, graduating senior on our team, uh, Scott Harris came to me and he said, you know, I know we're going to have a great event, but l- let's win this event. Yeah. And I was like, all right, let's win this <laughs> let's event. Let's win this event. So instead of just making sure that sort of like everybody gets in while their folks are there and we make sure everybody mm-hmm. sails, uh, you know, we really put in our top sailors and push the envelope to win that event. Yeah. Won that event. Nice. And really, I don't know if that's the turning point, but, you know, the, the culture on the team is working hard together and, and we're here to win, mm-hmm. uh, you know, and, and look cool doing it, but really yeah. here to win. Yeah. Well, and, and I mean, too, I mean, it, it's, it's just so funny that again, I like, you know, I think that with not only just sailing, not only with football, but within state athletics in general right now, I, I can put into a lot of different teams right now, club varsity that, are, are really developing a lot, you know, in terms of like, just like you said, this mindset, like, you know, like I could bring up like with softball that you you're seeing kind of more of a swagger, obviously having the number four overall recruiting class. And then with football, you're seeing it, you know, with women's basketball, you're definitely seeing it. I mean, even here with sailing again, you're seeing it. So, I mean, like, is it something in the water or something like that? Like, you know, is this like, should I, I love it. I love it that you can throw in, it's definitely the water and raw, okay. right? You can throw in cross hockey yes I mean, women's cross country there's yes. so much positive mm-hmm. you know i think it's always been important for our team to have a good culture to have that inclusive culture but to have that team mentality and work hard mm-hmm. uh you know we love uh that american aquarium song is you know the harder you work the luckier you get is just a, ma- a mantra for our our program but i think that's shared amongst a lot of state programs i yeah. feel like the culture in state sports is uh is really special right now yeah no kidding. No kidding. So, uh, you know, and one question I was curious about too, is like, you know, you were saying you were hosting like some of these big teams, like, you know, the Texas, the Florida's, you name it. Um, so do you feel like now that you've qualified last year for nationals that, that there's more almost a mutual respect of that, like as a competitor, like, cause I mean, now people are looking at it still like, all right, like we're going against NC state. Like this, this is going to be a tough one. Like, you know, do you, do you kind of get that sense? Yeah, I, I mean, any of us could speak on it. I think in past years, um, Olivia sort of touched on it that we recently our performance has spiked in the last year and a half, two years. So before, I would say that there were teams that didn't look at us twice, like just NC State overall. And, and the spike in our program has made people go into events and put us on their radar and be like, okay, you know, we need to look out for them. Nice. And in sailing, there are people that, you know, there are strategies to basically take other teams out. And we've had teams, you know, come out after us on the water and have coaches like tell their kids, Hey, you know, go mess with them on the water, mm-hmm. which is, you know, it sucks when you're on the water, but overall that's like, you know, wow, you have university of Miami coming after you on purpose. And it's like, okay, you know, Love they're it. looking out for us. Not- no, sorry. You know, or any or any, any ACC college sure. team, you know, yeah. Sure. But just overall, it shows how much progress we've made and how much other teams are respectful. And everything on the water gets taken off the water as well. Like just attitude wise, you become more friendly with those teams and and before, you know, they those other teams wouldn't really talk to us and now it is it's you expect respect from them at yeah. events and that's just it is way nicer to have and yeah we've earned yep. it Hello. You, you know one of the things too is you, you, you get the respect from some of like the higher performing more established teams the sort of old guard yeah. they know not to take us for granted mm-hmm. but one of the things i think we've done along the way in building our program and being who we are uh is that the teams that we're competing against that we're beating and the teams that we're that are in our conference and club teams in general look at us and cheer for us because they see us as an opportunity to succeed in this structure that's very varsity heavy and yet being able to pull it off. Yep. And it's been great that we 
are not being taken for granted by our competition and that we have that sort of Corinthian respect and, and, and support from our, uh, you know, our, our team members that are teams that we compete against. So yeah. you can see that in our, in the way we interact at regattas. Mm-hmm. It's just a neat part of, of what we've got going on. Yeah. And, uh, you know, kind of talking about like, like last year, cause I know that when we were, when we, when we interviewed you guys last year, one of the things we talked about was recruiting and, uh, you know, talking a little bit about, you know, just like, you know, bringing on people, bring on interest. And so now that you guys have made in the national championship appearance, do you feel like the talent level that you're able to bring in, such as with Olivia and Issa here being sophomores, I mean, is, is, is getting better and better. Cause it's, it's, it's easier conv- convincing like, Hey, we went to a national championship last year, just saying. So come join us if you want to go back again, you know? You don't think Do you that. Well, I'd say we, we're having people reach out to us more than ever, especially on, like, social media through Instagram. Like, That's awesome. Like, hey, I saw your team. Um, is there any way I can come out and see the team? And I think it's – I mean, people are noticing us. We're we're coming out strong. Okay. You know, I formally recruiting, getting out and talking to high school sailors, I find a lot more sailors will say – I'm looking at NC State uh, when I tell them, you know, what schools are you looking at? And we're in the mix. We're in the mix for them um, educationally. You know, anybody who wants to study STEM or really so many different programs at state. And that's a big draw. Mm -hmm. And you're looking at a sport that's a pretty, you know, the student athlete profile in college sailing is generally strong academics. There are no scholarships in college sailing. Mm -hmm. You know, our our team GPA is like a three, three, four. Mm -hmm. So. And we're talking about mechanical engineering, chemical engineering, uh, you know, complicated topics. And um, that, that's, an, I think, an important part of, of our value for a recruit. So we're hearing from recruits and they're listening when we talk to them better. So now the one thing, the one gripe, which I'm going to bring you coach is if I remember correctly, because I was listening back to last year's interview was, I'm pretty sure that you said the team GPA was three, three, five last year. So are you oh, yeah. resting on your morals yeah. at all? I, I'm just saying, I just, I'm like, ah, I don't like this backwards thing. You know, the point, points are one. You know, we are practicing a lot. We're practicing. I'm, maybe I'm pushing them too hard, <laughs> you know, on the court. I love well, it. We're, we're growing. We're growing. I think growing is part of it too. So Adding some random majors. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Awesome. I don't get to bring my like, college GPA to, to drag us down. So that's a positive. Amen to that. Amen. Awesome. Well, thank you all so much again for tuning in here for part one here with NC State Sailing Team. Again, if you haven't, if, if we're going to be having a part two here, but uh, Coach, uh, if you don't mind to kind of help wrap up here, I know you guys are raising money right now uh, for your trip to nationals, yeah. uh, and I'm pretty sure that fans can go to the website, the Sail Pack website, to donate. Is that correct? Yep. Yeah, so we get a little bit of money from the university, limited funding, so our trip to nationals, our operating budget, it's all coming from fundraising. And uh, so right now we're trying to send our co-ed team and our women's team to New Orleans. And you can help support us by donating to our cause, a sailpack.org mm-hmm. backslash nationals 2022. Okay. That's the website to find for donations. Okay, beautiful. All right. Well, so you heard it here first, folks. So make sure to go support them. Any any penny you have would be much appreciated again to, to I mean, obviously supporting this team that has obviously worked so hard uh, to bring this program to where it is right now and to basically compete uh, with the NC State logo at the highest level. So definitely make sure you go support them. And make sure, again, as well, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, which is free to do and also to really help support us and helps us grow the channel. Give this video a like so that way, this, that way YouTube will put this video in front of more NC State fans and also to give us a follow Tuffy Talk now on Twitter or Instagram and also to go give us the sale pack a follow as well on Twitter as well. So thank you all so much. And Hey, as always go back y'all. We'll see y'all for part two. <laughs>